Hi everybody, Alex Deploy here from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be looking at the most common remark that we get in the forums or in our emails and it says the set files don't work. What is a better alternative? And I'm quite excited about this video because I'm going to be showing you something that you may not know and what is most probably the biggest mistake robot traders make and why they fail miserably. So please stay tuned and you are going to see some exciting stuff happening in this video. Now firstly you need to be realistic. If trading was as easy as finding perfect set files from optimized history, every trader would be a millionaire. It would be a simple formula. Optimize the history, take those settings, trade into the future and become a millionaire. But it is not that easy. If you believe that, you are living in a fool's paradise. So what is the problem with set files? Set files in themselves have nothing wrong with them. They actually are exactly what they say. They are the settings that worked in the past. But the problem is when selecting the settings, that is where the traders make huge mistake. The problem is that set files are most often based on the settings that produce the best gains, the most profit in the past. That is the fall down. It's a bit like trying to use lo the same lotto numbers for this week that won last week. That's basically what you're doing. And if you look at the odds of how many settings are being optimized, in fact, they are pretty close to lotto odds. So that is why we've created this course where we actually take you through a proper process of finding the most robust settings. So you learn your EA over here, you optimize it, and then you don't just take any old settings, you take the very best settings that you can find and you then test them in on live demo accounts and once you are happy with the, those set files you you move them into your live portfolio you never trade one ea in your live account you need to trade a portfolio of six or to ten different settings and different EAs in this portfolio to spread your risk. But anyway that's more or less what the, the course is all about and I'm going to show you Today, one of the techniques you can use to get the very best settings to feed into your forward trading portfolio. So today we're going to explore one of one, only one alternative way to find better high probability setting. Now, those are ones with good income, low drawdowns, and a smooth equity chart because those those type of settings give you a better chance of success the fact that the equity chart is smooth over a period of a year or, or six months um, means that it is robust enough to trade through any market conditions low drawdowns obviously is always something that traders look for they don't want these big drawdowns and a good income is what we all striving for now this is a bit of a bad a bad quality slide but I must repeat it because what you're going to see today are things that unsuccessful traders will never do. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Very very simple comment and you'll find that applying through life. The successful people all they've done is done things that unsuccessful people did not want to do or didn't even know how to do. So don't wish for things to be easier. Wish for them to be better. So again, why I'm putting this quote up is that some of what you'll see might be beyond your capabilities at the moment. But that does not mean that they are out of your capabilities for the rest of your life. Okay, so I'm responding to this post that happened on our forum. It said, Alex, I would like to see the Profit Retriever, our most recent EA, optimized for gold and silver for capital of $10,000. So I'm going to go into that. I have done that for him. And I'm now going into the next step of taking my, the optimization. See, his question asked for the optimized setting. I'm not going to provide that to him. I'm going to provide 
the best setting that he can use for the future. So let's get right into it. Okay, so we're on one of my uh, testing servers and as you can see i'm running four tests at the moment there's still a few running i'm running them on every tick basis so that is why they're taking quite long this one has been running for 62 hours so far and is still running uh, it is the one for the profit retriever for the pound oz then we look over here then we look at the next one and uh, this is for gold spot gold and uh, you can see it's it's finished so we could probably use that one it's run for tw uh, 29 hours and the next one is for uh, silver also completed and it's run for about 21 hours using the every tick race so let's focus on gold and the silver settings and i'm going to most probably go for gold for now to, for this particular example i'm going to open it up and increase the view of the tester and so let's have a look at the results of this gold testing and i have run it from september to uh, the end of february which is basically a six month period i run it for six months because first the first tick takes a long time as you can see and let's have a look at the actual results so there are the results for gold and what one would naturally do or commonly do is you would go in and you take that first result and you'd say that is the, the those are the settings i want to use you'd run them on on the expert advisor and let's have a look at what kind of results you can get okay here are the results that have come out and i've basically saved the equity chart and the results and here they are there's the 12,000 that you saw earlier the big thing here is that there's a, a drawdown of 12,000 which is a little bit high we don't want to go for that kind of drawdown and here's the equity chart and it's showing all those big drawdown periods during the trading and although the equity chart is nicely upwards we 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 don't like these drawdown periods so we're looking for a much smoother equity chart and we're looking at most probably uh, results that have do not have such a large drawdown okay so how do we go about doing just that okay so now here's where you need to pay a quite a bit of uh, attention so what i'm going to do now is i am going to right click on 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 anywhere in this these results and i'm going to say copy all so i click on copy all so that's gone into my memory into my ram or memory and i then i then open excel and i then paste all those results into excel isn't this fantastic because what's nice now is that i can do some analysis work on this and now the headings haven't come across which isn't serious but i know which ones they are and what's nice is it also brings across all the settings that are the winning settings so what i want to do is i want to find results that have an, a reasonable income but an, but a much lower drawdown so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a column the column and i'm going to say i want to know what the ratio is between drawdown and income in that particular column and um, i'm going to just format that into a percentage and there you are so 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 that is basically saying that that drawdown as a percentage of that income is 105 percent so it's actually more the drawdowns bigger than the uh, income so i'm going to copy that all the way down to the bottom and uh and now i have a, a, a for a formula for each one so what i what i'll do now is sort the, all these columns to find the ones with the best ratios so we go and we click on the uh that little triangle to select all the items we go into data we go into sort we go into we want to sort column h 
and we want it to go to this from the smallest to the largest and we say okay now what has happened here is it's brought uh, the negative results so firstly what we'll do is we'll delete all the negative results delete okay so we've deleted all the negative results and now we just stuck with the positive ones of drawdown to gain and there is the actual ratio that we put in so this is says so the drawdown represents 20 percent 26 percent of the gain and that's what we're looking for we were looking for low drawdown high gain and that ratio is the one we're looking for so as you can see the first four are identical so we can take any of those after that i don't think there's anything that looks interesting here i think we can go with it with that so there's our what i would call our best setting from a drawdown point of perspective and that is 512 so we've done our excel work now so we can close excel thank you very much for all your hard work and we go down this list and up oh, there's 512 there is the setting that we've selected to be our best setting so what i do now is i right click and set as input parameters in other words those settings are going into my my EA and I am going to run that to see if we've made an improvement on the equity chart but also if we've made an improvement on the drawdown level so I'm going to st start that run okay and here are the results again there's the 8,000 that you saw earlier there's the 2,000 drawdown there's the 15% that I calculated on Excel and what is the big winner here is look at that equity chart now i ask you with tears in my navy blue eyes is that not the best equity chart you've seen today it is so much smoother than that other equity chart that you can actually see those little bumps are are little bumps they not those huge things that we saw in the other one and i'll just flip through to the other one look at those those inconsistent results that we had then really uh, and that's where this huge 12,000 drawdown came from it's not something that you would be comfortable trading so the point of this exercise was the 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 let's say the normal robot trader would go straight into this plug this in and they might not even forward trade it they would put it straight into their ftmo account and blow it whereas if you've done this extra little step just this little step that i've added by selecting the the settings with the best drawdown to gain ratio you have a smooth equity chart with very small drawdowns and you can see the daily drawdowns have been very small in this particular case okay so now the answer to the request that was made for robust settings for the for gold i can now answer i can now go into the settings i can now go into the expert properties and there they are there are the settings you should use to get that smooth equity chart and i'm going to take a picture of these settings and the testing templates there's the testing template and i will post this these settings into the premium forum so that the person that asked for this optimization can use these settings and as you see i've also finished the silver settings so i'm going to do the same thing for the silver settings i'll do the same process and post the best settings for silver on in the forum so as promised in this video i will do i will test and optimize your trading robots for you and find those perfect settings for you 
Uh, and here is the video that you can go to to find out more information on that. But essentially what you would do is you would go to our premium forum and you would go to the zero to hero course because finding those settings is part of that course. And here I am, and there we are. You can see that this is a weekly service, so I don't do it every day. I do once a week, and I, in fact, have done it twice, twice for this week because I've done gold and silver for that request. And go and log your request. Very important because I am only doing the most interesting requests that I receive. So join the forum and come and log your request for optimization and finding the best settings to use. So from me, Alex Deploy, cheerio.